For almost one and a half billion people around the world, half of the world's active population, agriculture is the main source of livelihood. But small farmers often live in very precarious conditions. Most of the time because of poor agricultural techniques and the absence of visibility regarding market needs. In Nigeria, Africa's second economy and most populated country, 70 million individuals depend directly on agriculture for a living. The country's agriculture is characterized by considerable regional and crop diversity. Despite this, and the country's strong economic track record, poverty in rural areas remains very significant. Most farmers have out-of-date techniques that turn out small volumes of products. Also, because they don't own the land and cannot mortgage it, they are often not able to invest in modern machinery. Their income rarely exceeds $20 a month. To break the cycle of poverty, farmers need to be taught ways to boost their productivity. But how to reach communities living in isolated regions? And how to provide agricultural skills which are not part of any traditional curriculum? Our radio drama this week, we talk about deforestation. Please listen, learn and send us feedback. In 2007, the Smallholders Foundation launched a radio station for small farmers from rural communities in Imo State. Ten hours a day, the radio informs farmers about agricultural techniques and management. The team is currently made up of eight broadcasters who are, or have been, small farmers themselves. Main subjects include crop cultivation, irrigation, machinery, livestock rearing and soil management. Broadcasters also encourage farmers to see their activity more like a business, so basic business skills and financial management are also addressed. For the men and women working on the land, this information is very useful, because they are able to gain better knowledge of their activity and connect to the market. They are also guided in making the right choices when it comes to adopting modern methods. The radio station reaches out today to 250,000 individuals. Founding director of the initiative, Naimeka Ikeguno and his team, often visit farmers on the ground to allow them to share their experience with other listeners. Young farmer Ndubwisi Ojukwo produces palm oil. He has his own small factory and sells his product locally. He says the planting of palms has been a success in the region and he is seen as a dynamic innovator in his village. For Adesi Iyabi, who recently planted a new variety of cassava bred locally by the International Institute for Tropical Agriculture, the year has been good. This new variety grows slightly faster and offers new prospects for his farm. Kevin Mulo lives in Obiti. He has two wives and nine children. He is a poor farmer and finds it hard to make ends meet. He grows fruit and vegetables that his family sells at the market once a week. Influenced by a series of programs on the radio, he now raises pigs, which has helped increase his revenue. He says most of it goes towards sending his children to school and buying the necessary uniforms and textbooks. In 2010, Smallholders Foundation Rural Radio won a WISE award for its impact on the local community. Thanks to the information it provides, many listeners say their income has increased. The radio station also goes beyond agriculture to cover essential topics such as nutrition, health and education. This has been a great help to many families. The awards prize money was used to fund a computer center in the village of Obiti. Six computers, photocopying machines and books on agriculture are now available to the local community. In the next few years, the Smallholders Foundation aims to reach 4.5 million listeners, living in 5,000 villages across Imo State. It is also hoping to scale up to four more Nigerian states, reaching 8 million listeners sharing the same language. Recently, the Foundation has been asked by the United Nations Development Programme and the World Bank to design radio programmes on climate change, democracy and good governance 
for small farmer listeners in southeastern Nigeria. The Smallholders Rural Radio illustrates how radio, and more generally the media, in their various forms, when cost-effective and accessible, can be very powerful and democratic tools to share knowledge and help improve people's lives.